Hey everybody, I want to take a minute today to talk about the Indian Club. How to use it, when to use it, what weight to use. This is a three pound club. I have upgraded to this myself after quite a few years of doing Indian Clubs with two pounds was generally my weight. I was ready for something a little bit bigger. So ladies and more inexperienced guys would start with about a 12 ounce to one pound club, working up to, of course, you know, one and a half to two pound could be that mainstay for most men. And for stronger men that want to train with different variables and work up into just heavy things, this nice longer uh, Indian club, three pounds, probably the high end of what you would go to to do these basic patterns that we're going to talk about and some of these movements. But the essentials to kind of remember is that you could do just about anything you could do with a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever with a club. It just adds a nice element to uh, change this grip. Sometimes a little bit less intimidating, say for ladies or someone new to exercise. For guys, it can be a little bit more uh, kind of primal or something to be rotating around our body instead of doing some really lightweight movements for say somebody with a shoulder injury or somebody working to restore their posture. It's just a nice kind of lead in there. Uh, a little trivia to these two, they actually were Olympic events in 1904 and 1932 Olympics and it was something that was done with three pound clubs for men and something that eventually kind of rhythmic gymnastics in that area replaced. So it's got a nice history to it, it's been used before that. Uh, obviously in India, brought to Europe, especially in the UK, in England, they were using Indian clubs to train their soldiers and things like that. So it has a really rich, cool history to it. And if nothing else, uh, just from my perspective too, it can be used to really just create some nice rhythm, restore the body, restore the posture in different patterns in these nice circles for our joints. We always say like joints like circles, so from our wrists, elbows, shoulders, all this scapular movement that happens in the back as well. Nice posture restorations that forces us to stay nice and tall. So all those valuable pieces come to play in this club. And as I move this thing faster around, create this nice rhythm, I get to reflexively naturally have to stabilize. So just that movement of having to catch and stop, flex and, and to uh, relax and flow into this, just got a nice piece to it. And then just the mental aspect of it too. I found a lot of that flow rhythm, just somebody who say who likes to go for a walk or go running. Uh, Gray Cook and his team there at the FMS, they compare these to doing jump rope. So it's got that nice timing and rhythm and flow. It forces us into a good posture, hard to you know progress without some level of skill. So same idea with these. We can use it again from something very restorative, uh, simple, it could be something that's a warm up, just a primer to get the body moving. You want to get the shoulders and everything moving well, a kind of general warm up, or it can be uh, into a strengthening pattern. I use these, especially a heavier weight, and a number of reps, say in the 20 to 100 rep range, you're going to feel a really nice burn, get some nice armoring to the body, nice restorative effects, or building up those tendons and ligaments, and just working in different planes of motion that you wouldn't normally be doing with a pulling motion or a curl or a press. It gets us going in these full circular patterns. We can basically do anything with this. So anything you know, around my body in these nice circles. So all these have some nice value to them in themselves. So there's a little breakdown of how and why we use those Indian clubs.